Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Digium Live. I'm your host, Brian Ferguson. And with us today, uh, we're very excited to have Steve Sokol, who is the Director of Strategic Programs and Product Lead for Respoke here at Digium. Welcome, Steve. Great to have you. Hey, great to be here. Thank you very much. All right, great. So we're here today to talk to you about Respoke and some of the exciting things that have kind of been introduced with Respoke. But first, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the article that you wrote for TechCrunch. So you wrote an article for TechCrunch talking about the virtual startup. And you talked about your experiences of getting Respoke started here at Digium, kind of working internally within the company, but still having a startup. Can you give us a feel about how that came to, came to be and what the experience was like? Well, it came to be because I actually was in the process of, of, of well, I guess about three years ago, um, WebRTC started to be a thing. Google had announced the project. They had, uh, had released the initial very early version of the code. And I kind of went, ooh, that looks like a really cool opportunity. And I'd been with Digium at that point for, I think, a little over five years and thought, okay, I love working here, but there's an opportunity, a, a niche I really want to go scratch. And so I told Danny I, I needed to kind of, you know, set things in order and get ready to go out on my own again. And he came back and made me an offer I really couldn't refuse. He said, hey, we, we, you know, we recognize that this is also something that's uh, the wave of the future, that really is going to have an enormous impact on not just the telecommunications industry, but on everybody who communicates. And so he talked me into sticking around by saying, you've wanted to do this. Why don't we work it out so that you can do this you know, within Digium? Um, and we very quickly put together a project. You know, uh, Danny and David Deaton put together this sort of uh, structure. Michael uh, Spiceland came on board very quickly. Uh, within a few months after that, Charlie Wilson came on board, and he's become the, the general manager of the Respoke Group. And the whole idea of doing an internal startup is that you operate like a startup. You, you don't have a business. You have an idea, and you're trying to vet that idea. You're trying to prove that there's really value there, and you're trying to, to you know, tweak and tune until you find something that actually has what they call product market fit. Um, and it took us several tries. I mean, we, we actually came and presented a couple of options before the Respoke option really clicked in. And I think Respoke clicked because it really fits well with the gym's DNA. Um, it's, it's a developer-focused product. Uh, it sort of has parallels with Asterisk, but with a different sort of developer um, ecosystem attached to it. It sort of fits closer to the web developer ecosystem than it does to the SIP and, and telephony developer ecosystem. But it has that same sort of of uh, do it yourself, solve it yourself sort of feel to it. Okay, so uh, we touched on Respoke a bit. Can you give us an idea of what Respoke is about, what it does, and how it helps people? Absolutely. So Respoke is a platform as a service which exposes an API which allows developers to incorporate live communication capabilities in the applications that they're building. So either greenfield applications where they want to add communications features from the start, or if you already have an existing web or mobile application, you can come back and, and add as a differentiator uh, live communications. And the things that we make easy are primarily instant messaging capabilities, voice and video calling, uh, group messaging, um, screen sharing, and the sort of general set of collaborative features. And we've taken it the extra mile. I mean, we, we've built in a lot of things that make it not only easy to do this, but easy to do it right. So people are able to create solutions that, that have uh, real access control, the sort of things that developers really worry about when they start to build not just a prototype, but a real app. Yeah, okay, great. So I know one of the major goals for Respoke was to launch software developer kits for, for iOS and Android. And I know you've done that. So can you tell us why mobile SDKs are so important and what makes them useful to companies that Re Respoke can offer them to? Well, the reason that it's important for us is because this has become a mobile first world. Um, in a lot of cases where, you know, even five years ago, somebody would have built a web application or maybe even a de native desktop application as the first thing out of the gate. These days, most people start with mobile because it's so much easier to make it pervasive. I mean, you, you put it on the app stores for iOS and Android and it's accessible globally that way. Um, it's also just uh, because of the way people work these days, 
you know, it's a necessity. You, you can't have something where somebody is, you know, strictly uh, limited to operating at a, in a desktop environment. You kind of need to have the mobile uh, pieces in order to make something a real viable application. And that's really all the more true in something that's designed for communications. People need to be able to communicate on the go. Um, why it's important for our customers is because doing that up to now has just been enormously difficult. You've had to have a team of people who were dedicated to building, uh, you know, the underlying components, the, in the engine that allows you to, uh, to add these you know, features into your web application or pardon me, your mobile application. You then have to have all of the backend services that go along with it. And when you start looking at the way mobile applications work, it turns out that it's really complex compared to a desktop application because your mobile application spends 99% of its time in the background, in your pocket, or on your desk and your iPad. Right. And in order to make that sort of life cycle work with a communications app, you have to have some pretty deep integration for things like push messaging, which is one of the things we uh, we really focused on when we put this together. We're tied directly into both Google and uh, and Apple's push messaging services, so that when you send a message. We, if you're not online, we're able to actually route a push message to you. Uh, we've also gotten really clever with the way we do this. Our, our initial take on it was fairly simple. You now, a message comes in and we take a digest of it and send that off. But in looking at uh, real world development cases and talking to some of our beta testers, they needed something more. So we actually have uh, what we think is a fairly innovative service called Push Event, where if a message can't be delivered, we actually turn it around and send it back to the developer's server. The developer server receives that message over what's called a webhook, and they can you know, reformat it, adjust it, set the flags for the different sorts of display options that occur when it arrives on the mobile device, and then say, OK, now push it. So they can, they can control very, uh, to a very fine uh, degree of uh, granularity what it is that the user is going to experience. You've t said a couple times that, um that Respoke is a great uh, product that's kind of targeted for web developers, but um, Respoke also has a lot of some uses just in standard business use. For example, like a product manager that just wants to develop something for their, to help support their particular product. Can you talk a little bit about how Respoke can help more people in the organization besides the developer? Well, the developer is just the end of the chain, basically. I mean, the developer is the person who will actually take the SDKs or the libraries and do the actual work. But the opportunity exists for every company. Anybody out there who's been building applications that has a need to add communications in or, or even can see it as a, as a strategic advantage for their application can take Respoke and very quickly, uh, again, you know, make their application uh, uh, communications enabled. So for a long time, for the last, I don't know, for however long people have been using phones, the phone has really been a separate entity, a separate operation. And so if you're in the middle of doing something and you need to communicate, you have to sort of break the contextual uh, bounds in which you're working and make a phone call. And when you do that, you're usually going to have to transfer a lot of the context of what you're calling about through one of a couple of means. One is touch toning in an account number and you know an order number, that sort of thing, right. uh, working your way through the IVR tree. And then the other is when you get an agent on the line saying, hi, yeah, this is Steve Sokol. I have, you know, account number one, two, three, four. I have something that's wrong. And, and all of that has to be sort of delivered each time you move through a contact center. So if that agent transfers you to another, chances are pretty good that you're going to have to explain everything again. With the sorts of communications you can build on top of a spoke, it's very much contextually aware. So you start on a website, for example, and you log into that website, and so the identity sort of automatically flows with that. And you actually sort of carve a path as you work your way through the website. I'm going to go to the main page. I'm going to go to a sub page. I'm going to go to a particular products page. I'm going to add a product to my cart. Hey, I want to talk to somebody before I actually buy. When you hit the talk to a live agent button, uh, and you're actually doing this via WebRTC and this other services that Respoke provides, all of the context that's associated with what you've been doing up to now can be transferred immediately to the agent at the other end. So the agent will not just get a call and maybe a caller ID. They'll get the idea that this is Steve Sokol. He's from Kansas City. He's on the site and he's been looking at you know the D70 phone and he has a question about something. Oh, and by the way, he's actually got one in his you know, uh, 
in or his uh, shopping cart. So this is a, a high value um, uh, call that's come in. And so you can actually use that for pre-routing uh, decisions. You can figure out what agent's going to be the best person to handle it. Uh, and you know you can do the handoff in a way that the agent doesn't have to spend a lot of time going over who are you, what are you calling about, and they can go straight to providing the uh, the answers that the customer needs. Yeah, that's really exciting. So um, I know we're all excited to to see what Respoke can do for a lot of customers and what they're already doing. Can you tell us um, the companies that are watching how can they get started? Where do they go? You know, how much does it cost? That kind of thing. Okay, uh, to get started, just go to www.respoke.io which is the, uh, the website where you go to sign up. Um, you can create an account. You get a 30-day free trial instantly. That'll give you up to 50 connections. And here's, I guess, something that's worth pointing out. Unlike a lot of other communication services that charge by the minute or something like that, we're using a different model. We're actually charging by the total number of simultaneous connections between your application, all of the different uh, interfaces you build for it, and our service. So if you need to have you know, 50 people connected at once, you can go with our basic plan. If you need to have 10,000 people, talk to us and we'll work out a, a custom enterprise plan for you. So um, that's sort of one of the differentiators that we have. But go to that site. That'll let you create an account. And again, you get a 30-day free trial. You can start to put uh, your application together. There's lots of documentation and tons of sample code available uh, from our um, docs pages and from our GitHub account. So that should help almost anybody get started with the... Uh, uh, the details of how to do it. If you're really looking more about some of the use cases, et cetera, just the www.respoke.io uh, uh, site talks a little bit about the features and some of the use cases. And if you have questions, of course, just reach out. You can get us at info at respoke.io and we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. All right, perfect. Well, Steve, I appreciate your information and feedback and overview of the product uh, and appreciate you coming today. Hey, my pleasure. And thank you very much. Have a great afternoon. All right. Thanks, Steve. And thank you all for joining us on Digium Live. And we'll see you next time.